Latin America has a new face representing it at the Vatican. His name is Julio Cesar Caballero. He's a man of communication and diplomacy, committed to addressing the challenges facing the church in the region. For him, the Pope's invitation to serve the church within the Pontifical Commission for Latin America has carried a special significance because of what commitment to service represents. Latin America is not in the greatest conditions. It's been hit not only by the pandemic and its consequences, but in the last years it has been experiencing an aggravation of situations that have put it at an obsolete disadvantage in front of a pandemic like the one the whole world is now facing. He says service, more than a word to define this new task, is a true vocation. In Bolivia, his native country, he met the man who is now his boss, the Pope. He met him at Viru Viru Airport in Santa Cruz. There he had the chance to direct communications during one of Pope Francis's most intense trips. He gave me the opportunity to be his spokesman in Santa Cruz, in the city. It was a very nice experience. I met him there. I shook his hand and I was able to feel the warmth and his firm, committed way of speaking. For example, his encounter with the popular movements in Santa Cruz was beautiful. He says that same sensitivity can be felt in the Pope's magisterial texts, especially in his latest encyclical, Fratelli Tutti. He assures that it seems to have been written for the current context, but it was more than the present situation. His message of fraternity, social friendship and closeness is a call to rethink paradigms as citizens of the world. He describes Pope Francis as the living expression of the Second Vatican Council. He was a bishop of Latin America from those existential peripheries, which ended up being so important, as what was once the periphery is now the center. Caballero, also former ambassador of Bolivia to the Holy See, believes that if the church has a pope from Latin America, then Latin America must make itself loudly heard with its truths and experiences. Without making an overly hasty judgment, I believe that the continent of hope needs more fluidity between the Episcopal conferences, the Salam, the Cal, and the Vatican, to continue to be that active continent that produces initiatives, that generates solutions, and poses challenges. For the new head of the Pontifical Commission for Latin America, the region's biggest challenge is to extend existing bridges toward a more sincere path to face the current reality. Looking for the perfect Christmas gift? Your search is over! Wish your family and friends a Merry Christmas all the way from Rome with Rome Reports Premium. This app gives you exclusive access to all events, art and culture inside the Vatican, including sneak peeks into the Pope's life and much more. If you want to be informed this holiday season, this is the perfect gift. Gift someone with Rome Reports Premium and celebrate this holiday season by exploring the Vatican Unseen with exclusive content, new documentaries, and the latest videos. Go to www.romereports.tv or download the app on Android or iPhone and subscribe to the service today.